Welcome to the Eclipse Debate Show presented by Bullet Train. I'm Scott Jagow, editor-in-chief of the Pollock Report, along with publisher Ray Pollock. It is Eclipse Award Week, and there are a lot of events leading up to Saturday's ceremony at Gulfstream Park for the 44th Annual Eclipse Awards. Uh, this week, we're going to debate some of the categories, talk about some of the issues around the Eclipse Awards, starting with the two-year-old and three-year-old divisions. The two-year-olds, it looks like Take Charge Brandy is pretty much a lock in the Philly side, and on the male side, American Pharaoh. Same with Untappable in the three-year-old division. Hey, if you didn't vote for Untappable, you should have your privileges revoked and never be involved in the Eclipse Awards again. I mean, she's the biggest cinch that there's been in a long time, as far as I'm concerned. All right. So let's just get to the three-year-old male division. Everybody wants to talk about that one. Who are you going with? Look, I don't think there's any right answer, there's any wrong answer, but to me, Bayern won the Breeders' Cup Classic. That's the biggest race of the year. California Chrome ran a good race, couldn't get past him the length of the stretch. He, he got beat fair and square to me by Bayern. Wait, 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 wait. Fair and square? I, I don't think the Breeders' Cup Classic could be considered fair and square after Bayern wiped out half the field at the start, including his only front-running rival in Moreno on a speed-aided track. And I would say argue that it played to speed at the Pennsylvania Derby and the Haskell, two of his other victories. California Chrome beat uh, his age group four times in grade one races, and two of those victories came in the Triple Crown. I don't think this year's Triple Crown. Let's, let's not forget all those horses this year that got hurt early in the season. The, 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 the runner-up in the Derby, Commanding Curve, didn't do much the rest of the year. The, the runner-up in the Preakness where where California Chrome was one to two favorite. I mean, that was a weak field. The runner up there didn't do much the rest of the year. So, yeah, there were triple crown races, but they weren't that good of races as far as I'm concerned. They were the best They were the best competition available at the time. But when Byron won the Classic, he beat everybody that was left standing. And I won't say he did it fair and square, but he did it impressively. Yeah, I, I, will, I will give you that he was an impressive horse this year, and he certainly deserves uh, votes. But I'm going to stick with California Chrome because of the entirety of the season in the three-year-old division. Now, I did not vote for him as Horse of the Year, and we'll talk about that later in the week, but I guess we're going to have to agree to disagree on the three-year-old male division for now. We'll talk about some more categories tomorrow. Thanks for joining us on the Eclipse Debate Show presented by Bullet Train. <laughs>